everybody! Today's video is going to be a quick tip on how I get this beveled look. Basically, it looks like I did a round brush technique using my flat iron. It's pretty simple, it only takes about five minutes or less, so let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So what I like to do is section off my hair, so I'm just going to be doing that into three sections and clipping those away. So we have one section here, one in the middle, and then this section down in here. I'm going to split my hair in the back, just down the middle, and then starting on this side. And I just like to take bigger sections and holding it up pretty much at parallel to the floor, I guess, I'm going to take the flat iron and then just sort of bevel in and sweep almost like toward me. So you're almost going in like a C or a J and then dropping that, and that's what you have there. I'm gonna do the same thing, just lift this up, and then just gently kind of curl it under. And then what I like to do for this very front section is have it go toward my face a little bit more. So I'm going to angle it a little bit forward, so not up like this like the other sections. I'm going to sort of over direct it toward my face, and then do the same thing, kind of just curve in. And that is what that side looks like compared to this side that I have not done. So that's one section done. I'm just going to let down my next section and do the exact same thing. to be letting my last section down and pretty much doing the same thing and as you can see I am working really fast just want to make sure you're just smoothing over the ends not really putting much pressure on the flat iron basically just letting your hair glide through just to smooth everything out and up on the front and on the top, I do have short layers that I don't really like to be seen. I like them to blend in a little bit with my hair. So I don't elevate the sections as much as you're seeing me do here. I'm basically just lifting it off my head a little bit, almost at a 45 degree angle. And just quickly running through the ends like that. If you want a little more height in the crown, all you have to do is lift this section up here, over direct it toward the front, and then just curve it around and that will give you a little bit more volume in that crown section there and then for my bang section I just like to lift it up like this and then quickly run through and just focus the flat iron back just like that and then it just leaves a nice and little like swoop. To take dry shampoo I'm just using Batiste and this is the floral and flirty blush and I'm just going to quickly do a little spritz over the top, a little bit in the front and on the sides. And if you want to lift in the crown and just an inch under each of these sections, go ahead and do that. I'm going to work that in with my fingers. And then for my ends, just to make them look a little bit more smooth and shiny, I do like to use my Apogee Gloss Therapy Polisher Spray. What I like to do personally is just take my hand like this, spray once or twice, rub it in, and then focus toward the front first, like right toward under here and around my bangs. And then whatever's left over, I go through the ends everywhere else. And that's how I get volume in my hair and basically make my hair look like I did a blowout when I in fact did not. It only takes me about five minutes when I'm not filming. I'm actually looking at my little viewfinder and I've only been filming for seven minutes so that was including doing everything else. So you're looking at about five minutes if you have my type of hair which is on the fine side but I do have a normal amount. So I just did it in three sections. Typically when flat ironing I do five sections but this is just a quick breeze through because I already had my hair basically done from before. This was just touching it up for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around and subscribe. I hope you all have an awesome day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye everybody!